Hello again, it's uh, Paul Beckwith. Um, I got cut off um, and I just um, I, I just want to finish up my video here on Atmospheric River. So I was showing on Twitter, if you search for the hashtag Atmospheric River, you can get all the latest and greatest stuff. This is interesting. This is, shows Central California rainfall from October 1st, 2022 through uh, 5 p.m. Tuesday, March 28th, which was yesterday. And you can see um, normal season and to date. So to date is, is uh, almost double in, in some places. Um, you know, it's much, much higher, you know, or, or sorry, this is the whole season. This is normal to date. So it's about double to date. You know, it's about where California's had about double the rainfall what it would get in a normal year to date. Okay. Com you know, lots of California, uh, Bakersfield, you know, 9.29 inches versus 5.31 inches, etc. Um, you know, you can get high winds associated with them, lots of rainfall, you know, and then it gets to the Sierra Nevada and puts lots of snowfall. Uh, if you want to get more specific, you can go on Twitter and look up, uh, you know, uh, what did we do? We did atmospheric river here. Um, this is the same thing, but you can actually uh, look at um, You know, you can try other hashtags. I'm not sure why. This is just a repeat of, of the previous one. Okay, uh, the Berkeley Research, University of California, they have something called the Central Sierra Snow Lab. And uh, they keep, uh, you know, they keep track of, of snowfall up in the Sierra Nevada. So this is the station here with various um, instrumentation, etc. And let's have a look at uh, and their website, and let's have a look at some of the data. So it's loading up. Why is my computer so slow? There we go. Okay, so this is the um, if you're looking at. So you can find the, uh, click on the snow lab and you can get, here's the, the current state of the snowpack, the percent of average snow water equivalent to date, 213%. So it's over double percent of average peak. It's basically double precipitation to date, double uh, percent of average precipitation, rain and snow to date. Okay. Um, so you can get all of these different things. Um, and, uh, you know, so here's a plot. This is the, the water year, October 1st to September 30th. Okay. So this is October 1st, 2022. Here's where we are now. And you can see, um, to date we're, we're at 713, um, 713. This is in, uh, inches snowfall in inches up at this station right it's just had a little uptick up but it passed over 713 and so you can see how the build how the build up is through the season um so this is where we are the red line the blue line is the median um so you know well over double well over double you know and here it kind of flattens out come come may but anyway let's see we, we can still we're going to end up way up here. Or we're going to end up down here. Or, you know, some is it going to flatten out soon? I mean, who knows? It's like massive snow dumps. You can look at uh, snow water equivalent. You see, you know, how it's uh, much higher. And uh, this is in inches. Snowfall, uh, precipitation, rain and snow. Okay, it's not so extreme. So it's getting a lot more snow this year. A lot of the more of the precipitation is in snow as opposed to in rain. You know, it's got 20, the 24 hour snowfall, 20 inches, 48 hour, seven day snowfall. Um, 
and so on. Okay, so th this stuff is all available. Um, and uh, this is uh, this is an image showing the amount of snow so far. This is where the station is, the monitoring station. And you can see, uh, you know, 600 inches up all over in this region, right? And we passed 700 now here. So this is dated uh, a few days back, okay? But you can see uh, the amount of, you know, precipitation, you know, it's just, it's just massive. It's just massive. Um, and I showed you this already. Now, California snowfall, if you go to Google Images and just Google California snowfall, you can see the massive amounts of snow. I think those ski lifts, here it is. This is the top of a ski lift. Uh, so this is a ski lift pole. These are the pulleys. The cable runs across there and this, you know, this guy's skiing on the top. So it's huge, huge amounts of snow, you know, and there's just images here of houses buried, et cetera, et cetera. It's, you know, it's crazy stuff. And California Atmospheric River, you can get different images here. I showed you this one. There's other ones. I like the, you know, there's this one here showing you, you know, heavy rain here, heavy rain and snow here. This is a Scientific American article. They, they show this, uh, you know, water coming across and then dumping like a waterfall onto California. You know, it doesn't happen quite that way, but it's, uh, it gets the message across. Um, and uh, yeah, I think my next video, I'm going to talk about the Greenland ice sheet. So, um, so I finished up here. So yeah, basically, um, weather weirding. You know, um, these atmospheric rivers are starting to happen more often and be more intense. And uh, this is not good news. If we have one of these arc storm events, um, then we can get huge lakes forming in central California. And depending on the time of year, um, it could basically take out a lot of California's uh, food, food, food production, you know, vegetables, fruits, et cetera, stuff that's grown. And it, that would have global um, implications to, to global food supply. So it's such a, a large portion of food grown in the U.S. actually comes from, comes from California. So thank you for listening. And uh, please consider going to my website, paulbeckwith.net, to support my research and videos. Uh, that's the YouTube channel. And this is my website, paulbeckwith.net. Please uh, click on the PayPal to support my research and videos. So thanks for listening and uh, bye for now.